Hey you guys. So I'm walking through Atlanta airport right now. I'm trying to go to Louisville for this conference. And it's just too much damn walking for my connecting flight. Um, I'm not built for this. I don't do cardio right now, bulking. I'm not liking this walk. But I'm on a little air tram thingies right now. So it's a little bit better. I feel like waiting for the little train shit. I figure I got two legs I could walk. You know, I don't really feel like it and my bag is kind of heavy. But yeah, see you guys in Louisville. I have less than an hour to connect my damn flight. And they put this shit, I was, I got off at gate A, they put it in gate T, the next flight. Like, really? Really? So I arrived in Louisville for this fitness conference, fitness business conference, and I'm so excited actually. I scheduled a meetup for tonight at um, one of the bars in downtown Louisville. So I'm really excited about that. I hope it's a pretty good turnout. It was kind of last minute, so I don't expect too many people to show up. But I'm hoping at least a good amount of people show up. So, yeah. Put myself out there and it's a way for me to network. But also a way for me to have people look for me. And me not have to look for all the people. If that makes sense to you guys. And right now I'm just sitting outside of the pool at my hotel. Because my room is not ready yet. And I'm pretty, I'm like three hours early. But they said just give them an hour. And they'll get, they'll um, have it ready. The room. So yeah, I'm just gonna chill out. Keep reading my book until then. Probably take some notes for a new video for you guys. And yeah, I don't know. I'm really excited about this weekend. I think it's gonna be a great trip. And it's my first time in Louisville. And I'm so happy and I'm proud of myself for coming out here by myself. So I made it to my room. I got into a room. It's pretty nice. It's just me here. So this is definitely very good. Um, yeah, see me airport swag this is what I came up in here with oh wait no this arm is more impressive let me show you this this one <laughs> yeah but it's so dark in here like do you guys see this like what let me show you my view or lack thereof look at this shit this is crazy like what the f what is this like wait you can't even you can't even see what what is this this is my view like literally like nothing like a wall like I'm pretty sure it's because, you know, I booked through Orbit, so when you, you know, you book through a third party, you can't really be, like, you can't really choose, you don't really have a preference. And also because I came in early, so this probably wasn't the room that I was supposed to originally get. This is just the room that um, was available early, so what I'm going to do is around 3 o'clock when it's really check in, I'm probably going to access switch this room because it's really nice, but look at this lighting. How am I going to vlog? Bison. So, so I ordered a bison burger and it looks really good. Bison must be like a common thing on the menu out here in Kentucky because I've seen it on like multiple restaurants, multiple multiple restaurants menus, and it's not even that common where I'm from. So I don't know, but I'm about to tear it up. I'm hungry. Just wanted to show you guys. Can you see me? I don't know if you guys can see me, but let me turn it around. So. I'm on my way to the meetup that I scheduled in downtown Louisville at the Maker's Mark Bourbon House. And I'm really excited. I'm a little nervous because I don't know who's going to show up, but I hope it's going to be a good turnout. And um, yeah, I will definitely let you guys know how it goes. So I'm at my meetup now and no one's here yet but me, but a few of the people told me the Facebook group that they're on their way, they're just waiting for some other people, so that's promising. And I think I'm going to go ahead and order some chicken and waffles because I heard they were pretty good here. And maybe get me um, a blue moon because I have this whole section to myself and I'm just sitting here and I'm like, I need to eat, I'm hungry. So yeah, it's pretty nice in here though, it's the Maker's Mark Bourbon House in Louisville and it's pretty nice in this area downtown Louisville too. I want to explore some more. I kind of wish I came out here earlier so I could have walked around some more. Let's see, I'll show you guys. people actually came to my meetup so I'm so happy about that this is 
I've never been to Kentucky before, but I'm so happy everybody came out to the meetup. Um, we're having a great time. Right now we finished dinner and drinks and we're just walking around and looking for a bar to hang out at or something to do. And it's fun to explore. So So I went to my little meetup, and I didn't even really have to wear, have to dress up. I feel, felt like kind of semi out of place. I mean, I felt amongst my people, of course, but I felt out of place because I'm like, I had to dress up and wear these, you know, trying to be all fancy and shit. But, oh my gosh. Like, guys, I have to say, let me come into the light. Like, okay. Now... I, let me see, my hair is kind of messed up. Ugh. Well, so before I got here, I was definitely a little skeptical of going, a little apprehensive, scared. And this is actually a conference that I wanted to attend last year because I um, I read, you know, Pat Rigsby's books and um, I really got a lot of value from them when I read them. And I wanted to come to this conference last year, but I, you know, put it off and I was like, no. I'll go next year and then this year I almost did the same thing I was gonna be like you know what I shouldn't go I can't afford it you know I need to save up money I'm trying to pay off all these bills so I can you know achieve financial freedom a little bit um faster so I'm just really happy that I came like I took initiative I'm just so proud of myself for actually coming out here and really investing in myself like going against what other people thought I should do and what their opinions were and just coming out here and being amongst the people who are doing what I want to do and I can't stress that enough guys like I hear this so often in my podcast but it really means so much and I've already just from the meetup tonight I've already got so much value from just meeting people and talking to them and networking and learning from them obviously and you know I'm a still a newbie in the business so I even emailed Excuse me. <sighs> I had a couple beers. I even emailed um, Pat Rigsby at first, and I was like, "Am I a person that can get value from you know this kind of meetup or whatever?" And he said, "Yeah, come." And I was like, "Okay, of course he wants me to come. You know, it's it's the conference." So I'm just so happy that I came. Like I really can't stress enough. Like you guys, if you want to do something, you need to go to where the people are doing what you want to do. Like that, it's a way to immerse yourself in whatever it is that you want to do, what you want to learn. It's a way to network because you know it's not even so much what you know anymore. It's about who you know and what you can learn from them and just build these relationships because they're so important and they're going to help you in your business or school, whatever it is that you want to do. And I'm just so happy I came and I'm really actually happy and kind of surprised that so many good people who attended the conference came out to the meetup that I organized at... Um, um, one of the downtown bars. I'm so impressed with that. Like I didn't think I've never I, I don't party plan. I don't organize events But I just said you know what F it. I'm gonna go out there I want to get the most value out of this weekend that I can I want people to network Before the summit especially because it's my first time coming out here. It's my first time in Kentucky my first time in Louisville And I don't know. I'm just I'm so I don't know. I guess humbled and I'm um, happy Okay, so today is the first day of the actual summit and I'm really excited. We're about to get started. Um, we're here at the Louisville Marriott in uh, downtown Louisville. And this is the Hello. <laughs> There's a lot of people here. So I'm really excited to get started and um, yeah, we'll check back in later. Three different, two different franchise summits in the, from the past, the IYCA and the Fitness Consulting Group, merging them and then adding another track, the adult training, the adult fitness track, which is really excited. And Ryan Ketchum, I am so excited for you and what you're stepping out on. We're going to get to hear about that soon. But I just want to take a step back really quick. We had a conversation this morning at breakfast. The conversation went something like this. There is so much going on in the world right now. So and the analogy I always like to use, and I tell people all the time, if you had a $150,000 Porsche sitting out in the parking lot, 
and you ran out of gas on the way here, you pull into the gas station, what kind of gas are you gonna put in? Premium. Premium. Mm -hmm. Who said that? Why? Because it's a Porsche. Huh? Because <laughs> it's a nice car. <laughs> to make it run and to maximize the performance of that vehicle. You have a high performance vehicle, if you want to maximize the performance of that vehicle, you gotta fuel it properly. So when somebody sitting across the table from you and said, do you look at your body as a high performance vehicle or should it be? It's a lot more valuable than that $150,000 Porsche. That's what I'm talking about. And I'm just, I'm just floored that I'm even up here because, you know, a lot of guys have already referenced this. Ryan already referenced this event. Dave already referenced that event because that was a starting event. And I get that vibe here. I get a feeling that this, for some people, is going to be that, that starting event that puts you up here. You got to take action. All right? So we're walking around and we don't know where the hell we're about to eat. We've been to like eight places so far and none of them can serve a group this large. And I feel like we're on a high school school trip. But it's, it's kind of fun. Louisville downtown, I guess it's popping right now because it's a work day and everybody is trying to go everywhere. But at least I got a group to walk around with them out, out here looking crazy besides talking into a phone. And um, now we are fully going to um, go to some place called Smashburger or something. We can't find nowhere else to see our asses. And we're using up like our whole lunch break out here looking for some damn food. We're gonna come back hungry as hell or miss a presentation, which I definitely don't want to do. But I'll let you see my food when I get it. Whenever I get my food, I'll let you see it. So yeah, check in later. So understand that profit's not a dirty word. So we need to start measuring performance. That's something that, that has to be done. Performance should be measured not only from a, a, a business aspect, but also from an employee aspect. Nice. Good job, Tim. Now, now, basically. There's about 120 back. I want you to park it into the front hole position. You guys notice the difference? How much further down did he have to go to get it? <laughs> Try not to jump underneath it like you did there. You didn't jump underneath it there. You can squat it. One more. Don't squat clean it. Just clean it. Nice. Good job. Give me People can know that you're a better solution for them because otherwise you're going to be relegated to competing on price. Now, tomorrow afternoon, I'm going to talk a little bit more about that, where our industry was price-wise, you know, five, six, seven years ago. So, we're at a Brazilian steakhouse right now down on 4th Street, right by where we stayed at um, yesterday. Amazing, amazing time today. I met some awesome people dropping some crazy knowledge and crazy value bombs on me. I need this. I'm so happy I came. Guys, like I said, whatever you want to do, go to the place where people are doing what you really want to do. Be amongst your people who show your passion and are like-minded because it's been like invaluable this weekend thus far and it's only day one. So let me show you our table. It's pretty, pretty cool. I wonder why you had a totally different experience than everyone else here. I think that's the reason. That's why you're sitting outside. YouTube. Say hi to YouTube, Jeremy. Hey, this is our at a Brazilian steakhouse. Getting that protein in. It's been a great day. They were doing tricks. Do it again. Well, this is Friday night in downtown Louisville. I'm turning in early because I got all my stuff with me and I stayed so far away. But it's pretty cool. There's a lot going on out here. Little country old Kentucky city. It's kind of popping. This is where we ate at already. Uh, I mean, what's where we just ate at? It was really good. It was really a steakhouse. We can't go wrong with a bunch of protein, in my opinion. And uh, yeah, some of my peeps are out here. Andrew has been tremendously helpful to me. This is Mike right here. YouTubing, vlogging, I guess. This is Ari and this rock her is Kevon. We didn't say bye when he left last night. And ah. <laughs> moving right along. <laughs> JK. So they roped everything off. 
I'm about to go home. I'm actually tired, so I probably should go home. 